This is Kevin Coughlin of the Star Ledger. With me at Rutgers today is former space shuttle astronaut Terry Hart. Uh, Terry, what kind of right stuff will it take for someone <laughs> to go to the moon and live there? <laughs> Well, they, uh, the right stuff, I guess I guess some of that's going to be needed, but what's really needed, a lot of smart people working on the ground here, uh, like, like they are here at Rutgers in this symposium, to uh, do all the preparation, uh, to uh, design the mission, to prepare the equipment, to train the astronauts that will go. You know, all those things are uh, so very, very important, and I hope to uh, be able to communicate to the, to the folks here at the symposium this week uh, just how important that is and, and, uh, and some of the issues that astronauts face uh, while they're weightless and in space. But to actually live on the moon, what kind of a person could live on the moon? Well, I think you have to be a little bit of an adventurer. You uh, have to be willing to uh, take a little bit of risk, obviously, and uh, delight in uh, discovering new things and uh, learning how to work in new environments, because uh, it is a very special environment, uh, the one-sixth gravity of, uh, of the moon and the, uh, the starkness and the, uh, the fact you have to take everything with you and know how to use it and to uh, to uh, uh, prosper in that kind of environment takes a, a special kind of person. But I'm sure we have many of them that are standing in line to go.